Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Washington, D.C. has more residents than two actual official U.S. states, Vermont and Wyoming, yet itself is not a U.S. state. Now, in 2020, the Democratic-led House of Representatives voted for the first time ever to make it a state, but it received no Republican votes. They want to maintain the status quo. Could there be an option in between? The District of Columbia, Maryland Reunion Act is a bill in Congress that would reduce the official size of Washington, D.C. to just the non-residential parts with the main federal government buildings, like the White House, Capitol Hill, and the Supreme Court. The residential portions would be given to Maryland, so all current Washington, D.C. residents would become residents of Maryland. It was introduced in the House by South Dakota Republican Representative Dusty Johnson. Indeed, there is precedent for this. In 1847, portions of what was then Washington, D.C. were given to neighboring Virginia. Now, supporters argue the bill meets both parties halfway, between the traditional Democratic position of full statehood and the traditional Republican position of keeping everything as it is. But opponents say that the bill actually runs contrary to the overwhelming position of Washington, D.C.'s own residents. In a 2016 non-binding referendum, 86% of Washington, D.C. residents voted for full statehood. Well, I guess you could say the current situation is in a state of disrepair. <laughs> state? It's, uh, it's not my best material. <laughs>